Hi everyone. Today I'm going to share with you five garden tips to save time, money, and help you grow more vegetables. The first one is to save your seeds. Now is a great time of the year to be saving your seeds. In fact, yesterday you might have seen, we just harvested this beautiful Jubilee watermelon. I'm already saving seeds from that. And what I did is I just collected the seeds as I was slicing up the watermelon, rinsed them off, and then kind of patted them dry with a paper towel and put them on this plate with parchment paper to totally dry out. Then I'll store them in a paper sack so I can plant them again next year. Now the other thing you can do is let your vegetables dry out right on the vine. I have a perfect example right here. These scarlet runner beans, a couple of them have dried out on the vine, are nice and brown and crispy. And you can kind of hear a little rattle when you shake these. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick these off. And let me show you, I'll open these up. These seeds are absolutely beautiful. We can easily save these for next year. And that way we save money and we get free plants for next year. I'm gonna pop them out of the pod. I love the color of these seeds, they're so pretty. And I do like to store my seeds in a paper bag. That way if there is any little bit of moisture that gets in there, the paper bag absorbs it and they'll save perfectly till next year. The second tip to help you save money, and who doesn't want to do that these days with the cost of everything going up, is to start your plants from seed. I mean, transplants can cost three to four dollars from the garden center when you start from seed. It's pennies on the dollar. You get a whole package of seeds for practically nothing. I started these two trays of tiny Tim tomatoes from seed. I've got 12 plants here, which could have cost me upwards of hundred dollars at the garden center. And I'm getting them transplanted in my garden and they will produce a ton of tomatoes for me over the next couple of months. And another advantage of starting from seed is you can grow a ton of really interesting varieties that you'll never find at the garden center. Now for tip number three, and this one's gonna help you grow more vegetables. You wanna protect your vegetables in the extreme heat and in the extreme cold. So what I'm gonna do first off for heat is use shave cloth. Now shave cloth will block out a portion of the sun's rays but will still allow some sunlight to shine through. So what you wanna do when the temperatures are above 90 degrees for an extended period of time is protect your veggies with shade cloth so they don't get too stressed out in the heat and they'll keep on growing you more veggies. Shade cloth keeps your veggies 10 to 15 degrees cooler underneath so they can keep on producing even in the heat. So I'm just gonna throw this piece of shade cloth over this garden bed, super, super easy. This one happens to be a 40% block. We'll throw it over the garden bed and we'll just clip it onto the edges here so it doesn't blow off. This also has the added benefit of protecting your veggies from critters that wanna come and eat them during the summertime. Now what you wanna do is leave your shade cloth on until the temperatures go under 90 degrees. Then you can take it off so your vegetables can enjoy the full sunshine. Now let's talk about protecting your veggies in the cold. With fall and winter just around the corner, your new fall vegetables or even your small little uh, warm weather vegetables that you're planting now might need a little bit of extra protection from the cold. So what I like to do is just look around my house, see what containers I have that I can utilize in the garden to repurpose them. This is a milk jug, I've cut the bottom off of it and I'm gonna use it for a little seedling cover in the cold by placing it over my little tomato seedling. Once the sun comes up in the morning, make sure you remove it because it will really heat up in the sun and you don't wanna fry your vegetables. The other thing you can use is those storage bins that you might have sitting around your house. This is for larger vegetables. So on a cold night, or maybe on a night when you're expecting frost, you wanna protect your veggies, just put the storage bin over your plants, then remove it in the morning. Once the sun comes up and you have extra layer of protection for your plants to protect them from the cold to help you to grow more veggies. A third way that you can provide a really simple cover for an entire garden bed is just to put a stake in each corner of your garden bed and then cover it with a heavy duty piece of plastic, clip it around the edges for extra protection and that way your entire garden bed has protection from a cold night. Again, don't forget to remove that plastic cover in the morning when the sun comes up so that your veggies don't fry. This next tip will not only save you time, it will save you money, and will definitely help you grow more vegetables, or herbs in this case, and that is propagate your herbs. A lot of herbs, you can take a cutting, such as this basil plant right here, snip off a long stem here, and you can put it in water, take off the lower leaves, put it in a glass of water, 
and after three to five days it will grow roots such as these ones are right here and then what you can do is take one of these cuttings and plant it for free plants that way you don't have to buy basil plants or buy seeds for your basil so you just poke a hole in a little container stick those roots down in there and after a week or so it'll get established in this container and then you can plant it outside in your garden. Now the same is also true for mint. I have a ton of mint growing in this uh, six foot long smart pots. Mint roots very, very quickly. So the same thing, you can just trim off a long stem of your mint, put it in your jar of water. And for this jar of water, I do like to keep it on the windowsill out of direct sunlight. You can add a drop or two of Vermisterra worm tea in it. And before you know it, you'll have tons of free plants saving you time in growing them from seed, saving you money because herbs are so expensive at the grocery store, and helping you grow lots of your own fresh herbs. Now this is a great thing to do now while you have tons of herbs in your garden. That way you can grow them indoors all winter long when it's too cold to grow them outside. Next tip, save all of your fall leaves, especially with fall coming up. All the leaves are gonna be coming off the trees, and leaves are one of the best free resources you can have in the garden. You can use them for mulch, on your containers or your garden beds, which also serve to help protect your veggies in the heat and in the cold. And plus that, they break down over the winter time, bring in the worms like crazy, and add lots of good organic matter to your garden bed. So don't get rid of those fall leaves. Now this next tip will help you make better use of all those yummy vegetables that you harvest. If you're not gonna eat them fresh right away or preserve them by canning them or freezing them, this tip will really help you keep them longer in the refrigerator until you're ready to eat them. Cook them in a delicious dish. So here we've got some scallop squash, some cucumbers, fun little harvest here as well. One more little scallop squash here to pick. And what you can do, which can help them last up to a week in the refrigerator, is simply wrap them in a dish towel or in a paper towel. And what this does is help absorb any excess moisture because the moisture is what causes your vegetables to spoil or go bad quicker. And then store them in the crisper drawer in your refrigerator and you'll be amazed at how much longer they will last this way. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Comment down below. Let me know your favorite way to save time, money, and grow more vegetables. And head over to CaliKimGardenAndHome.com. You can save even more money over there. 25% off with the code FALLVIBES. Grab your fall garden seed collection so you're all ready to grow for fall. And you get a free seed collection with your purchase. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.